guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do a little bit of product testing on something I picked up from Harbor Freight. It's the Titanium Series Plasma Cutter. Um, this product ran me about 800 bucks with all the uh, coupons and stuff that were going on. It, it had really good reviews. Now, I did watch some videos on this thing before I went and bought it like I always do. Um, I got on YouTube and, and watched everybody. You know, they A lot of guys put it together. A lot of guys cut stuff with it. Um, and I was I was pretty impressed, but the one thing I didn't like is every video I watched, they it was really thorough on how to set the machine up, and it took a lot of time um, just to get to the fact that I just wanted to know did it cut, did it cut or not. So this video, you don't have to fast forward all that stuff. You don't have to worry about watching me hook it up and all that. Um, we're just gonna put a bunch of products out here. I got a bunch of scrap metal laying, that I had laying around sitting here. And we're just going to start cutting it. Um, I'm going to tell you how thick it is. We're not going to clean it up. We're just going to grind a spot to put the ground on. And we're just going to see if it cuts. We're going to see how clean it cuts, how fast it cuts. And we're going to do two tests. One test we're going to do on 110 volts. Um, because this machine will do both. And then the second test we're going to do it on 240 volts. So uh, first off, we'll go through and we'll try and cut the exact same stuff on 110 volts. So we'll go ahead and get this thing all plugged in. You can watch me do that real quick. And then let's get to it. <laughs> Right, guys so here's a look at what we're going to try and cut today right here starting off we're going to try and cut a piece of stainless um, this is some real thin stuff I, I know it'll cut it I want to see how clean it does it moving on we got a piece of aluminum here it appears to be probably an eighth inch thick then we got a piece of angle iron steel um, probably between 16th and an eighth, eighth inch thick not real thick stuff then we got a track pad we're just going to try and cut the thicker part um, you're looking at it probably about 3 16th thick then moving on, we got a cast header. Um, this cast header, as you can see here, got an 11 16th wrench, fits on there. Um, that appears to be how thick that is. So we're gonna try and cut this piece of cast, see how well it does with that. Then moving on, we got a disc brake here, which appears to be a half inch thick. So you can see that. We're gonna go ahead and cut that, see how it does. Then off to a 5 8 spring. We're gonna cut that a few times. Then coming over here, I actually already cut that piece few days ago when I got this machine but this appears to be about 3 8 thick um, piece of angle it's galvanized so that'd be a good test and then here's the big boy this is the biggest piece of scrap metal I had laying around so if you're wanting to know if it cuts one inch or something I don't have that this is three quarter of an inch thick steel plate so we'll go ahead and get that cut and see how she does all right starters we're gonna start the stainless steel here Like butter. Another one.
not quite cutting it on that one. test on 110 volts. Now I have to say, I expected it not to cut the thicker stuff very easily without passing multiple times, if at all, um, but it did really well. I'm actually a little bit more surprised that it did as well as it did then. For example, if I were to flip the three quarter inch steel plate over and do it on the backside, I could probably cut through that with just using 120 volts. Um, so very impressive. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna flip this thing over to 240 volts and turn it all the way up and uh, see what it'll cut. So let's do it.
All right, so there you have it, guys. I just did a quick test on all these different pieces of metal, and on 120 volts, it cut through the thin stuff with no problems. 240 volts cut through the thin stuff with no problems, obviously, and as we went up, the 120 kind of died off when we started getting to the thicker stuff. Um, I don't really think that's what you want to use on that. You're going to need 240 volts to cut through this th thicker stuff. Now, it wouldn't quite cut through the three-quarter plate. Um, it doesn't really say it will. I think if I remember right, it said five-eighths of an inch it would cut through. Um, this three-quarter stuff, it would do it if you did it a few times, but if you're going to do all that, you might as well just use something else. So, But the three-eighths inch plate, no problem. Cut it like butter. I didn't have any issues. I didn't use a guide, so I was kind of getting out of the groove there. If I would have used a guide, I think it would have went right through the first time. But regardless, this Titanium Series Plasma 45 that I got from Harbor Freight, it works great. I, uh, I really recommend it if you don't have one. If you have a full-time shop where you're doing a lot of fabrication work, it might be a good starter unit, but I don't think it's something that's going to make you a bunch of money. I think you're probably going to want to just go on with, you know, a Miller or, a, I don't know, Snap-on or whatever. Um, I don't really think that this is something you want to have if you're planning on using it every day. Now, in my shop where I do a little fabrication work, you know, here and there, fixing stuff, whatnot, it's going to be absolutely perfect. It's going to be absolutely perfect. I love everything about it. So I recommend it for that. When it came to cutting the aluminum, the one thing I did notice that the 240 volts, even though that was only eighth inch aluminum, the 240 volts cut through it like butter way better, way cleaner, way faster than the 120 volts did. Why? I couldn't tell you. I'm not going to get into specifics of why. But you can't latch the hood too well if you don't take the can out. You know selling waste to space. But there you have it. That's it. Um, hope you guys like the video. Hope this helps you out if you're looking in, if you're in the market for one of these. I know this is kind of what I wanted to see when I was in the market. I just wanted to see somebody cut with it and see if it worked. I didn't care about how to plug everything in and air pressures and all that stuff. So if you want, if you need that information, it's in the manual or you can go watch those other videos. But this is just supposed to be supposed to be a real quick, easy fast video just showing you different thicknesses it'll cut so hope this helps you guys out if you don't mind hit the like button on the video and uh, subscribe to the channel for more but uh, until next time we'll see you later